September 13th, 2019. There's a full moon in Aquarius. I'm Thor Sandalwood, Vedic astrologer, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So the new moon took place a couple weeks ago and it was in the sign of Leo. And Leo is all about being the king, it's all about the center of attention, it's all about having that personal authority. But if you count seven signs from Leo, you get to Aquarius where the full moon is, the culmination point of that karma. And Aquarius is more about service to others, service to your community, your family, your co-workers, everyone around you. It's more of that selfless spirit where you don't get noticed you're getting no recognition for the service that you're doing. But through this service is some of the greatest spiritual advancement and blessings that we can receive in our lives. You see, when we were born here on this planet, when we all came to earth school, really the lesson is, is to learn how to love people. Learn how to love unconditionally. And everybody struggles with that because we all have bosses we don't like. We all have family members that we don't care to see at Thanksgiving or Christmas, but we're forced to deal with those people and learn how to love those people for who they are. And so with this full moon, we're really being asked to become karma yogis. Karma yoga is a branch of yoga that deals with selfless service to others. We see that almost all the great saints throughout history were all involved with karma yoga. You look at Mother Teresa. She went out and she served all these people around, helped feed them, helped clothe them, all these, give all these blessings to all these people without thinking about getting money for herself or glory for herself. All the great saints do all these wonderful spiritual works without thought of personal reward. So the new moon took us into Leo where we became our own. You know, we have to recognize our personal power, our personal will, the power to change, to make our own choices. And then the seventh house is really that higher manifestation. Seven houses from Leo is Aquarius is really that higher octave of what the new moon started, where we're learning how to serve other people. Serving other people can just be through small things that we do every single day. It doesn't have to be some great thing like going to a soup kitchen and serving food to people, even though that is a very good thing. Selfless service begins with respecting others, thinking about people's feelings, not trying to hurt others. Also just the small things we do, being polite, offering to help when we don't need to help. Those are all what Aquarius is asking us to do. Now the full moon takes place in a nakshatra of Purva Bhadra Pada Nakshatra. Purva Bhadra Pada Nakshatra is really about that, that Shakti of raising yourself spiritually in life. So when we raise ourselves spiritually through selfless service, that's a path that's talked about in the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna talks about different paths that one can do to become more enlightened in life. One of the paths is meditation, breathing practices like pranayama but also he says you know what the most direct easy path for anyone to do is just karma yoga learning how to selflessly serve that's the most direct path that anyone can do you know some people are really religious they go to church every Sunday and they try to live good moral lives but the issue is it's not being orthodox or religious the true measure of spirituality is how much do you love and serve the people around you that's the real true measure not how orthodox you are in your beliefs. So that's what this full moon in Aquarius is asking us to do, to go out and serve our brothers and sisters out here in this world because we're all in it together at earth school and we're trying to learn even the deal with all those people we don't like. This is my full moon message for you. Tell me what you think below in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading, Email me at thor.sandalwood at gmail.com and I will send you some information regarding that. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.